Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Johnson from Phoenix High School. Have you ever gotten completely overwhelmed looking at all of the assignments you have on Google Classroom? It can be really easy to do, especially when you're looking at the stream faction that comes up the first time when you're looking at it. Let's look at an example. When you're looking at the stream, it just keeps going forever and this can feel really overwhelming especially when you're balancing seven different classes well i am here to help you look at some easier ways to navigate google classroom in an attempt to help make things feel more manageable and less stressful for you we're really going to do this in four different ways i'm going to show you how to open your work tab and look at the first screen I'm going to show you how your Google Classroom is linked to your Google Calendar. I'm going to show you how to look at the topics under classwork, which brings the amount of work you have to look at down considerably. And we're also going to look at the built-in to-do list at Google Classroom. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one, opening up your Google Classroom and looking at that first screen. So if I open up my Google Classroom, I will then see the classes that I am enrolled in. You will notice on the bottom of each of these classes, there is this little button that you can push. And what this does is this brings you to the list of work that you have for that class. It does not include the different announcements that are made, so it helps filter those out. You can click on that and you will see the different assignments that you have. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to look just at the assignments that have been assigned, which brings my list down considerably. And not only can I see what is assigned, I can see what is missing and I haven't turned in. If I just want to focus on the missing assignments instead of what is currently active, I can also click on the missing work. Again, you will notice this brings the list down considerably to when I had it just originally, which just seems to go on forever. Okay, so going back, I also wanted to show you how there's a link to Google Calendar in Google Classroom that can be very helpful for you. So when you go into a class, there are a couple different ways you can get here. You can hit the three bars up in the left-hand corner and go to where it says calendar. The other thing you can do is under classwork, you will see up at the top where it says Google Calendar. You click on that and what is really nice is it will bring that calendar up for you and it will tell you when your due dates are. And then when clicking on those, I can see it takes me directly to the actual assignment, which is nice. It gives me the details of that assignment. And then from the calendar itself, it will bring me directly to that assignment with all of its attachments. This can be extremely helpful for you with the built-in calendar because it helps you know when all of your assignments are due. Going back, one of the most helpful tips I can give you is with the classwork topics. So a lot of people don't realize when they are going into Google Classroom, if you go under classwork, because again, it can get really overwhelming just looking at the stream that keeps going. If you click on classwork and then on the side, you're going to see where it says topics. Your teachers will have created these topics for you. I am going to click on week three, quarter four in this particular class, and I will see these assignments. So what this does is it shows me only the assignments that are placed under that particular topic. When you're looking at this, 
So I have, okay, the mood check-in form. I have the materials that I will need for the week. And then down here, I have the actual two assignments for the week. I hope you'll also notice we have little icons that are gray or that are orange next to these. And what the gray indicate is that it's either a material that does not have to be turned in or that it is an assignment you have already turned in. What the orange does is it tells you you still have to do this assignment, so it gives you a nice visual cue that this assignment is still missing. This is a nice way to bring it down to just a couple of assignments to see in one instead of the very overwhelming stream. The last really cool option that I want to show you is the built-in to-do list into Google Classroom. So once again, going back, when you go up to the three bars in the left-hand corner, you will see a to-do list. And this can be very, very handy for you, especially when you're enrolled in multiple classes. So you click on this assignment and it will show you out of all of your classes and you can also go through and just choose the particular class you want to do instead. Okay. All of the assignments that you still have that are missing. So if you go through, it will show you the assignments you have not yet turned in under that to-do list. And you will also notice that it divides your classes into the different classes by a color bar on the side. This can help you organize what you need to do first when you're putting together your weekly calendar and figuring out what you need to do first. Remember, the more organized you are, the easier it is to feel successful. I hope these tips helped you and that you are able to now more easily navigate Google Classroom. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all later.